Um, I'm actually a product of the Ithaca City School District. I grew up in Ithaca, went through the public school system, um, was fortunate enough to travel and went to art school in um, Kingston, Jamaica, West Indies, and then moved to Ghana, West Africa, lived in San Francisco, lived in Atlanta, and felt like I've seen the world and that it, now I can come home and appreciate all that Ithaca has to offer. I enjoy um, being out in nature. Uh, I like camping and um, exploring new places and um, Ithaca is like a microcosm of some of the most spectacular places in the, in the country. Yeah. Um, a huge community of people that are really into education. Um, you know, the whole, the whole um, Ithaca community is really invested in education. So I think that really played, you know, a big part in it. Even though, you know, we have so much uh, state regulations now, so much more than when I first started, it's, um, and the bureaucracy has grown and all, the, all this nonsense. But within it all, this district has been, has enabled me to maintain a lot of academic freedom and a lot of, allowed me to grow. And I feel like I've been re well respected and trusted. Teachers here are very dedicated people. It's an amazing staff, uh, a very smart staff, and they really care a great deal about kids. So if you want to be in an environment where you, where you love to work with kids and you love to work with other colleagues who care as much about children as you do, this is the best place. I can't imagine anywhere else. In fact, when I, when I complain to my nephew who works in New York City, uh, he said, you know what, I would love to have your problem. <laughs> Can we switch places? I work with one-on-one -on -one or very small groups, so we get to know each other very well. I get to know my students, um, they get to know me, and then they come to me for uh, help, and I feel like we develop really good um, student and teacher relationships. Um, I actually had one recently. I, I think there are small, smaller awards that you see every day, but. Um, over Thanksgiving break, I had a student, a former student, email me and just say, Happy Thanksgiving. Thanks for everything you did. And that's just, it's a great feeling. Can't match it. Helping out with my TV production club. Uh, it's a great group of kids that is extremely uh, enthusiastic and active in everything they do and they come eager to work every day. I was saying it's a progressive district and we're always changing things up so be ready for change and realize that year after year things are going to be changed but that's for the good because we're always you know progressing if something doesn't work we move on to something new so you know be prepared be excited buckle your seatbelt and get ready for the ride <laughs> anybody getting a job, but especially teachers getting a job, is that they don't necessarily like have a good understanding of what to expect. Um, and I think that that leads to you know people like taking jobs and then leaving them quickly. Um, so I would really suggest like um, reaching out to teachers. Um, I'm sure that if you you know reach out to administration or whoever the hiring people are and say you know could could I get the name of a teacher or a couple of teachers that would be willing to talk to me. Um, come and see it for yourself uh, if you can. You know, just come visit. Come, you know, uh, you know, come walk downtown. Uh, you know, take a hike. Uh, walk through Cornell campus. Um, go to, uh, you know, to uh, some of the um, you know botanical gardens. Go out to the farmers market and uh, you know just uh, check out what the people are into. Say what's up, man. The when you see her. Das einzige Stück fehlt, ist sie. La única pieza que falta eres tú. Solo Karamas Tay. Wee shia de Tio Shin The only piece missing is you. <laughs> <laughs>